What is up you guys, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to yet another tutorial. And in this case, we're gonna use the HSL secondary in Premiere Pro to edit three different manners. These three tips are gonna allow you to create more in-depth editing in your color grading. Now, if you don't know what HSL does, it basically allows you to control certain parts of your image or certain tones of your image isolate them and then edit them and change the color and saturation contrast and all of that so first thing that we're going to do is do that we're going to select an object and going to change the saturation and the contrast basically see what hsl does next we're going to use the color wheels in hsl secondary to achieve precise and very rich skin tones and finally we're going to use the hsl secondary to achieve some color contrast between us and the foreground guys so let's jump into premiere pro and edit this so guys here i have a clip of myself in the middle of the woods vlogging and it's already color graded but let's say that i want to change the color of some object in this frame so here we have a hat and let's say i want to change the color so we're going to go all the way down to the color now here in lumetri color we have a lot of tabs but down here we have hsl secondary we're going to click on it so this is where it displays it basically displays this eyedropper tool that allows us to select certain colors and then the sliders to emphasize our selection furthermore down here we can alter the colors with the color wheel the general color wheel or the split color wheels over here and also the temperature sharpness saturation contrast all of that things so let's change the color of that hat guys so i'm just going to select it with the eyedropper tool then i'm going to click here on the color gray box to see what we're selecting and the only things that aren't gray are the things that we're selecting so as we can see it's not completely selected so i'm just going to move on the sliders of luminance saturation and tone until we have all the selection of that little hat over my head once we have the selection completed, I'm just going to add some blur and some denoise to avoid any artifacts or hard cutting. And then down here, we can basically just change the color, change the saturation, add anything to this selection. So here I can reduce the saturation to desaturate all the blues from that hat, or we can basically just change the color by adding some color. And that's basically the principle of HSL secondary. You can select different colors and then you can alter them to your specific needs. Now this is for one specific color. If you want to edit another specific color in the same shot, you can just go to effects, type in lumetri color and drag it all the way down over your clip once again and edit it just like we edit this one. Right? Okay, so next up, I'm gonna show you how to achieve correct skin tones and very rich ones with the HSL secondary. So here we have a clip of myself in the middle of forest. And it looks like I'm completely desaturated, like if it was sick or I hadn't eaten in days. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add a little bit more saturation to this because this was shot in a flat picture profile. But still, I look a bit white and a bit decolored, guys. So I'm just gonna go all the way down to HSL secondary. And what I'm gonna do is select my skin once again. So I'm just gonna select myself, hit the color gray once again to see what I'm selecting and just move the sliders till I have full selection of my skin. Once I'm happy with the selection guys, once again, I'm just gonna go all the way down to denoise and blur, just blur everything with a good amount. And then we're gonna need to activate Lumetri scopes to see what we're working with. So if you don't see Lumetri scopes tab over here, you can always go down to window once again, and down here you have Lumetri scopes. And then the scope that we need, we're gonna right click it is the vector scope. Now the vector scope, what it does is basically tells us what colors are in the image and with what saturation. So the further this white mark is from the center, the more saturated it's gonna be. Now here we can see we have a lot of greens, everything is tending towards the greens and that's normal because we have all this foliage in the back. So here we have a huge mesh combining all the colors from this image, but what we really want is to see the skin tones. So for that, I'm just gonna go all the way down to effects controls. Here in the Lumetri tab, we have this little buttons over here, which allows us to create a mask. So I'm just gonna mask out everything but our face, in this case, my face. So now if we go back to the vector scope over here, we can only see the selection that was created with a mask is being altered. So I'm just gonna amp up the temperature just a bit to see what we're working with. So the point of having the vector scope open guys is so we can see where the skin tones or the correctly exposed skin tones are. Now here in the vector scope between the yellow and the red, we have this diagonal line crossing. Now this line is also called the flesh line, basically because the skin tones should be on top of that line to be correctly exposed and correctly color graded. So now we can see if we move the temperature up that our colors are all the way down to the reds and to the magentas and not on top of the flesh line. So that's a problem. So we have to correct that. So let's start off by correcting the color wheels. Now the colors in the highlights will largely depend on the lighting situation in the environment. Let's say it's a very sunny day and you're in the shadows. Well, the light is going to be a lot more blue than yellow. 
if you're in a sunset and the light is hitting you directly, then your light or your highlights are gonna be a lot more yellow. So in this case, I'm in the shadows in an overcast day. I'm just gonna add a little bit of blue into the highlight tint. Adding the correct color to the highlights will allow your subject or yourself in this case to really blend to the situation in your video, guys. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of blue into the highlight just like that. Then the shadows, I always like to add some red to add some blushiness and some reddish tones into the shadows. Uh, basically, it allows, it allows us to not look like myself over here, which I look like a zombie or something like that, or an alien. Just gonna add a little bit of red into the shadows. Remember, I have the saturation at 200 to see what I'm working with. I'm just gonna desaturate that at the end. And then the midtones color wheel will determine the accuracy of our skin tones. So here we can see in the vector scope that all the colors are tending towards the reddish and magentas and we want them to be towards the opposite. We want to move them to the flesh line over here. And the opposite of that colors is the greens and the yellow. So I'm just gonna move the midtones to the opposite, a bit towards the greens, just to move the vector scope a little bit to the red until it hits that flesh line, guys. So just around there, the skin tones are very accurate. I'm just gonna desaturate it once again. Saturation just a bit more. And then furthermore, I'm just gonna add some contrast. And now by clicking on and off the HSL secondary tab, we can see what we've done. And basically, we've added a lot more accuracy into the skin tones. Those are more precise skin tones to what I am really am. I'm not an alien, I'm not transparent like the original skin tones were. So that's a great way to achieve correct skin tones and very rich ones as well, guys. Now for my third and final tip, which is gonna add a little bit more subject isolation and a lot more attention drawn to your, towards your subject by creating some color contrast between your subject and the background, guys. So let's jump into HSL secondary once again. Okay, so we're gonna work with the same clip, guys. So in this case, we'll go to effects, type in Lumetri color once again, and add it into the same clip with another stance or another layer of Lumetri color. Now in this case, what we're gonna do is go all the way down to HCL secondary once again. We're gonna select our skin tones once again until we're happy with our selection. And then we're just gonna click in this little button over here, which will invert our selection. Now we've selected everything but our skin tones. Just gonna to add some blur and some denoise all the way down to 100%. And finally, what I'm gonna do is just create a color contrast between my skin tones, which I'm not altering, but I am altering the color from the background. So here we're in the middle of the forest, I'm gonna add a blue tint to it to make it a lot more moody, dragging the temperature down. And now we can see that my colors really start to pop up in comparison to the background. Now you can do this with any type of color. You can bring the temperature up if the situation requires it, or you can add a color with the general color wheel. Here we can see all the colors that we can add. If we want to add some tint color, this is a great way to achieve the teal and orange look. Here we have the oranges in our face and in our skin tones. And then if we want some teal color in the shadows and in the back blacks over here, just add a little bit more teal. So it's a subtle effect guys, but it really adds a lot more contrast between you and the subject and it draws the attention of the viewer towards the one who's talking in the video. So those are the three tips that I have for you for HSL secondary, how to use it. First, we have the isolation of a subject and altering it independently. Then we have how to achieve rich and correct skin tones. And then finally, we just have color contrast to allow more subject isolation from the background. So those are the tips that I have for you guys. If you did like the video, can you please give it a like? It really makes a difference and consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload the next video. I'm Tony Fuentes, cheers to all of you, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers to all of you.